All right, Cody says that a trip to the strip club solved all of his problems. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Cody, uh, what's going on? So, um, about a month ago, yeah. I had an altercation with my girlfriend, and I ended up cheating on her oh. at the strip club with the girl that she works with. She what? With the girl that she works with. Oh. 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 She's an accountant, right? Yes. No, she's, she's not an accountant. She's a bartender. Oh, oh. Yeah, she's a bartender. <laughs> okay. Now, how long have you been with your girlfriend? I've been with her for a year. For a year? For a year. And you obviously really care about yes, her. Yes, I do. And then, do you remember what you were fighting over? Yeah, we were basically, she would call me at my work, and mm. my boss already told her not to call my work when I was working, because I'm on a production line for the wind turbines, you know, yes. I make the blades. And basically, she called, and he pulled me to the side, yes. and um, basically told me that that was my last day, and I finished oh. my day there, and I got fired. Oh. Yeah. So you go home, you're really angry at Yeah, I, I go home, and I'm really, I'm really heated, like, yeah. really heated. And yeah. I enter the house, and she has this notebook full of, like, numbers, names, numbers of, of all the people she called to find me, because she doesn't believe that I, that I was at work. Oh. And oh, so okay. So you're upset because she cost you the job. Yeah, you she cost home, me the you, job. She doesn't trust you. You get in an argument. Yeah. And you say, "I'm going to the strip club." Yes. You don't even tell her. You just go. Yeah. I no, like I go to my buddy's house first, yes. and my buddy actually convinced me to go. And we he, were. He just, thought it would be good yeah, for he, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought it would yeah. be good, you know, just to go out to the club, you know, yeah. have a good time, and. Yeah. I don't know. Like, and that's we, where she works. Yeah, that's where she works. But we go to the club, he, we start walking up to the bar, and she's not there. Oh. And she's supposed to be working so, that night. So you immediately say, let's get out of here. Immediately. Yeah. I, no, like, not immediately say, get, get out of here. I immediately go to the back room, and, I, and I'm like, where's my girlfriend, Nicole? Because they yeah. know me there. Yeah. And Jada comes out, and she tells me that she Jada's called Jada's another in. woman yeah, who Jada's works a, Jada's a stripper at the bar. Yes. And she tells me, basically, she called in sick. And oh. I told Jada, I'm like, you know, she's not sick. I, I, like, she's mad at me. She started fighting with me, and I'm, I basically blew off the handle and left. So she, she offers me a lap dance to try to cheer me up. Oh, that I've never, will do it. I've never, yeah. I've never, I've never had a lap dance. I'm, t I'm 23. Oh, well, yeah, I'm I mean, 23. that's what happens a day at the office. You're having a bad day. Here, let me give you a lap dance. Yeah. Uh, okay, but. Listen, like, I've never had a lap dance before. No? Yeah, no. I'm 23. No, I, what are they like? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So she brings me to the back and starts grinding up on me, you know, oh. like, starts touching my legs, starts oh. asking my, yeah, and, you know, oh. starts touch, and there's a no touching policy, and, and it was happening there. Yeah. But um, the thing that happened was. Well, um, I know what happened. We, we're, in, we're in her Pathfinder. She, she, we're leaving the club. It was about 3, 3 o'clock a.m. Yeah. Because it's really late. They, they work late nights. Yeah. So we leave. We're trying to find Nicole. She wasn't answering her phone. Yes. And basically, she started touching me in the Pathfinder. No! Oh. Oh. And we ended up... And in we, the Pathfinder. Yes, and we ended up having sex. Oh. Uh, front seat, back seat? All over. But you were, when you were looking for her, what was your intention? My intention was to try to call her and like try and to try to make up she with an, her. Okay, she answers the phone, right? Yeah, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to call so her, when, make up with her. She's not answering the phone. And you and, got angry. And I got then. angry at that too. So. so then you said, "There's no reason why I shouldn't have sex." Exactly. <laughs> So why are you here, other than I'm here to confess to Nicole that I, s I cheated on her with a stripper at her work. Oh. In a Pathfinder. In the Pathfinder. <laughs> so she now knows you've been cheating. N no, well, she, I, I'm here to tell her. Yeah, well, she's backstage, oh. Oh. you know. Yeah. Here's Nicole. You make me sketchy. You've been sketchy since I met you. Why do you think I ask you all these questions, Cody? Been you asked me all these I thought it was cool at first. You know, you yeah, asked. Yeah, I'm trying to get to know you. I, I was thought, trying to get I to know you. I thought it was cool you. at first. I was like, yeah, you know, she checks up on me, she cares. But you, you really just are just overboard. And I, I don't. No, you want to know why? 
You started all that. Do you wonder why? I would leave. You know, I'd come home from work, I was tired, you'd get up, you'd call me non-stop when I wasn't with you. Try and find out what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I'd talk to you, all these little things, and it would trigger it would trigger things within me that I have, you know, from my past relationships that you don't bring I know. The past into the present, Nicole. What did I tell you about that in the beginning? Yeah? Everyone. Six months in, you were fine. Six months out, where the hell were you? Yeah? Well, you know what? Okay, let's to... both take time out and blink. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Like, it was all good in the beginning. Like, I, I loved you. But after, this, after that sick halfway point in our relationship, it went downhill. And I wasn't happy with it. So what, what, what went downhill? It what went downhill? Downhill. You started, you started, you started uh, making assumptions on me, fabrication. Okay. And you, I just don't understand why you did that. That ruined everything you between know why? you and I. You want to know why I called work? Because you told me. You'd write down on the calendar. Oh. I have to work six days a week. I check, I come, you know, I come home and you're at home. I'm like, what, what happened? You're like, I actually don't have to work today. You lie to me about little things and I catch you in your lies. Yeah. Now, you, you don't cheat on him. No, I've never cheated on him. Ever. I love so him. So I don't know where this trust issue comes because really? if she's not cheating and you, so maybe tell I am us, crazy. you tell us you don't cheat, then why do you guys not trust each other? Neither of you she ever cheat. She doesn't trust me. I trust her. She doesn't trust me. No, you don't. And you show up at problem. my work. I get out. I have security there. I get out and you're like waiting in your car well, smoking I can tell you cigarette. security doesn't mean much. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, basically, is I slept with your coworker and... You have to leave. She was a friend. This has happened in the past in other relationships. It's yeah. just a repeat. And I it, guess I don't learn, dude. And, and, and that, I'm sorry, Jerry. This no, is really, fine. I didn't I expect this. I thought this was going to be something entirely different. This it's the Jerry cool. Springer show. I know. I know. Well, who's this other woman? Jada? Jada. And that's the one you were with? She works with you, right? And you messed around with her. Yes. Yeah, did you like it? Yes, I did. Yeah? Tell me what it looks like. Tell you what it looks like. Yeah, tell me what it looks like. I want details. Like, what? <laughs> did you like you loved her? Is, you loved her more than sex with me? All I gotta say is. She's was, better than me? It was there, and you, you were here.
Yeah. He cares about your insecurity Yeah, problems. you know what? Exactly. So problem. why did you even waste mine. my time? Why you, did you waste my time? I, I guess I was drunk when him? I met you. You know, dude, I've given up. I have sacrificed a lot to be with him. I am in a lot of debt. I've been working out of getting myself into a better me for a better future. That's why I didn't want to start a relationship well, maybe with him. Hey, let me talk, please, because you never do at home. You never listen to me. And you wonder why I get crazy and start yelling because it's the only way I can be heard. Maybe you wouldn't be in debt if you wouldn't have got me fired. No, you don't pay me. That's my student did loans from before I met you. You got him fired, didn't you? You did. Tell him <laughs> the truth. Like, yeah, right. Tell him the truth. You, you call my manager. That? Yeah, you, you call think my that? manager. I think you're lying. Oh. Oh. I'm lying. I showed you my last day slip that I got from that job. What did didn't say from me calling. Oh, well, oh, well like it's a, a fire. Pass. Little so. boy, here you go. Are you saying you don't want to be with her anymore? I don't. We'll be back. What? If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.